Welcome to the channel where we simplify analyzing the crypto markets by making things really, really simple. Today, we're going to dive into Bitcoin because we have made a new high, but does it mean we're going to see a surge to the upside and really breaking past that $30,000 mark with confidence? Or are we still due a top and likely to see a correction at some point in the very near future? Well, if you like today's video, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and let's now dive into this chart that we have showing. Now, what I want to remind you of is market moves in fives and threes, and there tends to be fives and threes within the fives and threes. So what you get? Well, let's just look at this from a logical perspective. What was figured out over 100 years ago, actually, in all markets and all time frames, and especially crypto, is that crowd psychology dictates price, how the market is feeling. The fundamentals are already baked in, and we can get big clues. So what I'm going to look at is first I'm going to just hide all of this information and I'm just going to simplify a couple of factors. Now, last week, I was anticipating that this was going to be a top for Bitcoin. We had the Fed announcement, a big move to the downside. And then I was anticipating some type of follow through, some type of correction to the downside. That hasn't occurred. We didn't get that follow through. What did we get? We got something called a corrective overlapping wave structure. And at this point, the wave went back up here. Now, when that occurs, it just means something else is happening. So are there clear fives and threes? Well, what we can see is that the market overall in Bitcoin, since I think it's November, has done a one, two, three, four, and it looks like it's doing some type of five. But what's going to give us a big clue is what's happening in this part of the market. Is there a clear five wave structure within this last move on the upside? And the answer at the moment is actually yes. We've got this move up, some type of pullback, another move up, another pullback, and then a final move up is what's more than likely. So when I have drawn this onto the chart, if I show you it like so, this is what we have. We've also used some other factors like Fibonacci price and time that indicates to us with high probability that we are likely to see Bitcoin top out in the next week or so. So the top is still likely. And after a five wave move to the upside, what typically occurs is a three wave style correction. So that's my technical position on Bitcoin. That's the high probability outcome. If you want to get more timely information with Bitcoin, we've now created a free Bitcoin membership area where I do a video report I've just done a detailed one of what we just covered today. And when there's new information, what would confirm the top? Well, I covered that in the Bitcoin report. And want to really be aware of that particular price point, because if that occurs, then we can be highly confident that top is in and that we're probably going to see a 50% pullback. And we're talking about a 24,000, maybe even a 22,000 Bitcoin is more than likely over the coming months. But short term, just be mindful that we're probably going to see some panic buying coming into the market. So let's finish with a quote. Today's quote is from Jeff Bezos. He says, or one of the things he says, one of the greatest business guys on the planet with Amazon, is if you can't tolerate critics, don't do anything new or interesting.